All right, the red dot's on, and it says that we are recording. Guys, I think I saw you last night. Hey, how's it going? I'm so happy to be here again chatting with you. Um, if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you. And the other 70% uh, of people who haven't subscribed to the channel, consider it. Um, this channel is all about making your real estate business better. That's exactly what it's about. From sales training to brokerage training to knowing if you're at the right brokerage, that's what this channel is all about. And of course, guys, right here, my name is Josh Barnett. I am an agent over eXp Realty. If you're ready to make that move to eXp Realty, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd be happy to go over everything with you about that. And I hope that you've really enjoyed the channel along the way. Now, let's get into today's video. How do I know if my real estate brokerage is the best, right? There's a lot out there, guys. There's there's two main models. And then, of course, there's the eXp model. So the two main models before the eXp model was broker owner, you know, mom and pop shop style brokerage, and then the franchise model. So th those are your two main brokerage models. And then there's eXp, which is totally different. It's 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 a corporation uh, that that that's amazing, and it gives you ownership in the corporation. So when you're looking at those three models, you got to ask yourself, as a real estate agent or team leader, even what's the split with the company? What's my split? You know, is it a 60-40 split? Is it 50-50 split? What is it? And when you're looking at those splits, you also have to ask yourself too. What am I getting for that split? If you're a brand new agent, you're getting a ton of mentorship, a ton of training from the brokerage, and you're on a 50-50 split, cool. You're paying your dues. But if you've been there a while, if you know what you're doing, and you're on like a, I don't know, 70-30 split, and you that and but you know everything that you do, and the company's not giving you leads, the brokerage isn't giving you leads, is that 70-30 split fair? Is it fair? Not just to you, the agent, but to your business, to your family. Is that 70-30 split fair if you're handling everything and getting your own leads? As a real estate agent, a team leader, you got to ask yourself that. You got to ask yourself that. Over eXp Realty, split is 80-20. And then it leads us into the second part of it. It's an 80-20 split to a cap, to a cap of $16,000. So once you get up to a $16,000 cap, then you pay $250 per file for the next 20 deals. So if you are at another brokerage and you are on a 50 50 split because you're getting a lot of training, and if you are on a 70 30 split and not be getting anything from your brokerage, do you at least have a cap? Do you at least have a cap? Over EXP Realty, the cap is $16,000 and then it's $250 for each file after that up to. 20 deals. And then it drops down to only $75 after that per year. It resets every year. So what's your split? Do you have a cap? Huge frustration that I used to have at other brokerages. I've been in a mom and pops brokerage. I've been at a franchise. I've been at a uh, uh, independent brokerage. I've had my own brokerage. It's always been a huge problem. Accounting. Can I go into any one of my files and look at the splits, look at the deductions, look at the fees that were associated with those files at any time from anywhere that I have an internet connection. Nope. Never, ever, ever was I able to do that. Even when I was at a Rheology franchise, was not able to do that. Can you do that at eXp Realty? Yep. I just go into eXp Enterprise. I go into the business manager section and I look at every one of my files. Back to the very first one that I ever did at eXp Realty, I have the accounting record of each one. And I can look at that at any time. That's huge. If I have a question about a deposit in my bank account and I want to know what the splits were on that deal, if I was working with a referral on that, or if there's a deal that I had on a team or something like that, I can go in there and do that at any time. Having that access to your accounting on your files is super helpful. Super helpful. Another question to ask yourself is the real estate brokerage that you're at the best is do they provide you, do they provide you based off of your splits, not anything extra, but based off of your splits, do they provide you an IDX and CRM, an IDX website and a CRM? You've got to ask yourself that guys, what are you getting? What's the value that the brokerage is giving you as a real estate agent, as a team leader for the cost that's associated? 
at eXp Realty. Full disclosure, we pay $85 a month as a tech fee. It's so much. There's so much. For $1,000, I think like $65 or something, I have so much technology, marketing, accounting at my fingertips at any time as long as there's an internet connection. I can grab it. I used to pay $120 for my own website and then $52 for uh, MailChimp. I used to pay that. So what's that come out to? Like $175 a month. And I wasn't even breaking ground on what all I have at eXp Realty for only $85 a month. So you got to ask yourself, what is this company giving me as a real estate agent or a team leader to advance my business, to excel, to grow, to become a better agent, to become a better team leader, to help out my customers better. The more help the company gives you as an agent, the more help you can give to the customers, right? Yes. Yes. Another question to ask yourself if your brokerage is the best. Do they have a way to help you with your savings? You're not going to want to sell houses till you die. You're not. This, this business is very lucrative. We can make a lot of money on our commissions. We can we can be very successful as real estate salesmen and saleswomen, as real estate team leaders, as real estate broker owners who move a team on EXP Realty. We can be very successful at that. But is the brokerage helping you save money? I had a bunch of cash before I moved to EXP Realty. I did. But I didn't have a bunch of stock. Now I got stock because every time I close a deal, I've elected to take 5% of my commissions and purchase EXP stock at a 10% discount. At a 10% discount. So I'm already buying it under market value. I'm, I'm making 10% on it as soon as I buy it. Does your company have something set up for you as a real estate agent and team leader to help you save money? You've got to ask yourself. These are reasons that Jay Kinder says, once you see this model, you can't unsee it, guys. If you're a business person, if you're savvy real estate agent, savvy real estate brokerage, savvy team leader, once you see this model and it clicks, it makes sense, you can't unsee it. Last thing I'm going to talk to you about, which is huge, which is absolutely huge, is when you introduce someone to your brokerage, I've introduced people, a lot of people, to all the different brokerages that I've been at. I've introduced them because I was happy at the time that I was there. And they asked me, do you like your brokerage? I was like, absolutely, yes. You should come meet my broker. What did I get for that? What did I get? Every now and then, I'd, I'd get my annual fee waived. Every now and then, I might get a thank you. you know. But what did I really get for that? Anything long lasting, any benefits from that person? When I invited over a high producer to any one of my old offices and they made the company a lot of money, what did Josh Barnett get for that? What did Josh Barnett's family get for that? What did Josh Barnett's real estate business get for introducing that person to the brokerage that was long lasting? Nothing, nothing. This is what people don't understand. This is what people don't get about EXP Realty. Glenn Sanford built this company to benefit the real estate agents, not the corporate execs, not the regional managers. There are no corporate execs. There are no regional, there's corporate execs, but there's no regional managers, not the franchise owners. It's not a franchise, guys. It's not. He put the agents first through a program called Revenue Share. 50% of the revenue from the agent split, the 80-20 split, the 20% that comes in that's capped at 16000 goes back to the agent and the agents above him, seven levels, that introduced those, those people to eXp Realty. To eXp Realty. So if you introduce someone that comes to eXp Realty, then they introduce 10 more people that come to eXp Realty, you're going to be benefiting off that person that you introduced to eXp Realty and those other 10 people that that person introduced to eXp Realty, guys. That's what makes it so mind-blowing. You are rewarded for helping grow the eXp Realty company, the real estate brokerage. 
This is just another reason, besides the other five that we talked about, of why EXP Realty is such a massive dominator in the real estate brokerage business. Why agents are coming over to EXP Realty hand over fist, and it's the fastest growing independent real estate brokerage ever. I just want to share this with you guys. Is your real estate brokerage good for you? Is your real estate brokerage good for your family? Is your real estate brokerage good for your business? If if you said no to any one of these items, guys, seriously, let's schedule a time to sit down and watch the model. Let's watch the model explained. That way you can see what I saw, but it took me six and a half years to see it. Let's talk. Let's talk about your future. Let's talk about how EXP Realty is obsessed with your success as a real estate agent, a team leader, or a broker owner. All right, guys. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Hope you're having a stellar weekend. And I'll see you guys. Oh, yeah. February 1st, at the time of this video, February 1st, 2023, I've got a webinar coming up. How to get business, how to maintain business, and how to get more referrals through video content creation. Consider uh, checking out that webinar. I've got it on my blog. If you're not here in Oklahoma, if you are here in Oklahoma, it'll be at Tom Rosser's office over at Gateway Mortgage. And I'll see you guys on the next video.